Hi, this is Phil from Make Tech Easier and welcome to our review of the Amazon Echo Dot, the hockey puck sized little brother to the Amazon Echo. The Amazon Echo was a groundbreaking voice controlled personal assistant or smart speaker when it was released in 2016, having been in development since 2010. In the year and a bit since release, it's the market leader product in a $400 million worldwide market. Amazon launched the Echo to expand its hardware products beyond Kindle and to do for digital home integration what it had done for ebooks. The Dot is by far the most easy Echo to fit into smaller homes, the original Echo being the size of a spaghetti container, but it shares features with all its siblings in the Echo line. What you get. The Dot package comes with the unit itself, a power supply and a cable for supplying that power to the unit. Because the power is supplied via a USB cable, it's easy to assume at first glance that the Dot is a chargeable device, but no, it needs to be plugged in all the time when in use. To use the Dot, you need to plug it in and follow the instruction that Alexa, the online AI which powers the Echo, gives you to connect Dot to the internet. You also need to download the Amazon Alexa app for your smartphone or tablet to configure the device. The build quality of the device is very solid indeed. How to use Echo Dot Using the Dot is simple. You just say the trigger word, Alexa, and the circular LED on the top of the unit starts to twirl to signify that it's listening. Then you ask for something like Flash Briefing. Flash Briefing is something you set up on the app and it can give you news from various sources chosen by you and weather for the locality you selected in the app to represent where you live. Or if you're in the kitchen with your hands covered in flour, you can say, Alexa, what is 28 grams in ounces? And she will reply. 28 grams is 0 0.99 ounces. You can also say, Alexa, set a timer for 20 minutes. These are very useful hands-free features that you will use quite a lot if you cook and doing those things on your smartphone are fiddly or tedious. Another cool feature is the looped noise generator for playing relaxing sound loops. Just say Alexa play ambient noise and list and Alexa will speak a list of all the sounds it can play. These range from thunderstorms, rain, ocean waves, babbling brook, fireplace and around 30 others including playing a random sound from the list our particular favourite. Choose one and it will play the loop until you say Alexa stop. Although you can change the volume of the speaker with the buttons on the top of the unit, you can also adjust the volume by saying Alexa Volume 5 in the range of 1 to 10. As well as all of this, Alexa via the Echo Dot can access and play any of the thousands of tracks on Amazon Music if you are a Prime subscriber and can even read your Audible audiobooks once your account has been linked. There's great integration across all Amazon products. You can even get Alexa to read books from your Kindle library. The Dot was originally conceived as a device which had the guts of the original Echo but not the high quality speaker. It has an output so that you can plug it into a stereo or other external speaker. That said, the speaker is pretty decent quality for music or especially radio and podcasts. Conclusion Alexa is a surprisingly versatile digital assistant which seems to understand any accent and seems to understand what you want most of the time. Of course it's amazing that you can just talk to a computer at all, but once you get over the initial surprise and delight you realise that Alexa has the same shortcomings that all voice operated AIs suffer from. You have to use the right words. It's not possible for you to just say Alexa and then ask anything in conversational English. You have to say the words that Alexa is expecting from its large but not infinite pool of commands. You can add new commands via the skills, but it can be frustrating to have to keep adding commands. Also, you have to think before you speak, as you can't just say Alexa and then keep it hanging for a few seconds while you try to frame a question. One cool thing is that if you forget what you asked Alexa, or you want to look it up again, everything you ask is stored on the Alexa app. It's really nice to have a written record of things you search for or info you requested. Some people are not very good at retaining verbal information, so that's a good backup. All in all, the Echo Dot is a great toy, but is it a tool yet? The answer is very nearly. We look forward to with considerable interest to the new skills that are coming out this year. Check out the Alexa Skill Store on Amazon for the hundreds of custom editions you can add. OK, that's it, except for this. Alexa, sing me a song.
A song? I'd love to. Your circuits are fused, you're feeling confused. Why, oh why, oh why, oh why is... But I'll be right here to lend you an ear. Okay, as always, thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like, subscribe and add your comments below. See you next time.